Audi Tennis fans, Nate here with Player Courts. So you're tired of getting lobbed. It's why you clicked on this video, whether it be doubles or singles. We'll focus a little bit more on doubles for this one because I think we see it a lot in doubles as well. But you're here because you're getting beat by the lob. You have a team that is e either using it offensively or defensively, and it's driving you nuts. I hear it all the time. It's super, super common at the 3-5 to 4-0 level, but don't get me wrong, it's not a low level strategy. I actually coached a team to nationals that was at the 4-5 level, 4-5 level women, that use this as a tool to get to net. We'll talk about that more in just a moment. But so first, let's talk about how we defuse this. Let's forget about taking the ball in the air. Let's forget about being more aggressive when they give you short balls. I'm guilty of giving that, that coaching in, in the past, and it is a way, it's just not the best way. If you have a team that is beating you with the lob, very simply put, the first chance that you have to hit a slice, specifically short, you should, right? So if I have a ball that's coming in, I want to focus on hitting a short chip. Why do I want to hit a short chip? It's very hard to lob. Right? It's very, very difficult to lob. So the first time you're going to have access to this is typically off the serve. When they serve, this is a great time to do it. The second thing is when you hit the short chip, you're also asking the lobber to come on into the net. And a lot of times we don't see those players absolutely loving the net. Now with this strategy, you can, you can mix it up. In fact, you want to. Sometimes you're hitting short and then other times you're hitting deep into the court, right? You can float it a little bit or you can kind of knife through it to where it's penetrating. Both will be effective at keeping your opponent off balance. And even the ones that are deep are gonna stay lower off the bounce. And because of the backspin, they're more difficult to lob. The tendency that I see that gets us in the most trouble when we're playing lobbers is that we rally with them. Their ball, once we get set into this deep pattern of kind of moon balling, we drop back and then we get stuck hitting the moon ball back, right? And you're just, you're playing into what they want to do. Now, I'm not saying you can take that ball and immediately knife it short. If they hit a good, heavy, high ball, it's going to be really, really difficult to do that. But you've got to look for the opportunity. And the second thing you can do is also take that ball in the air with a short chip, not a swing volley. We talk about swing volleys all the time, but I've started noticing at the higher levels, players just drop back and lob that too. But if I get a high floating ball and I take it and I drop it short, I'm doing the same thing. I'm, I'm giving them a shot that makes them uncomfortable and I'm bringing them in. So more on that four or five team that went to nationals. They used a strategy that we call dink them and dunk them. The minute they had an opportunity to hit a slice, again, typically off the opponent's serve, they would dink and then they would move in, and as the opponent came forward and popped the ball up, they would dunk. They would play it aggressive between or at either opponent. Now, the second thing they did to layer in that we worked on meticulously is that sometimes they didn't follow it in for the dunk. They hit the dink, and then as the ball came back from here, they would then lob the person, the, the, the player's partner that was already at net, and then follow it in because now they've got them in a staggered position where one's up and, and one person's back and now two are up and both are ready to receive overheads. Okay, so it's that simple. If you don't want to get lobbed, stop lobbing back. Use the chip. Chip short chip deep, use slice to keep the ball low, and stop playing high with topspin. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave us some comments, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're looking for partners to practice this awesome strategy with, check out playercourt.com. That's what we do. We link you with the same level players in your area, can even help you with lessons. Take care. See you next time.